let's create the package first. Let's come in here. Data structures in list, and let's create prefix three. And let's also go to test and do the same thing. Prefix three. Okay. So first we are going to search main Java. Let's go to the prefix three. Go in there. Create a new class. Let's create a prefix. Let's call it prefix node. So our node. Our node will be composed by the root object. So let's call it which is a character. It will also have a map. So this map, map cannot accept uh, primitives. So we need to add the um, character class and And prefix node. Let's call this children. Okay. And let's import the map. So in here, for each node, remember we had T, E, and T and E were used for 10, uh, for tier, for T, right? So in here we'll have the letter T and all the children that will have that T. And in this case we'll have one node which will have the root T and a lot of different maps. One that will have T R T E. Okay? We'll we'll see that. And Later on, we are going to add a set along, and we'll call matching IDs, right? Let's import that shift control n if you don't remember. Um, now, what do we need to do? First thing is we need to create a constructor because this constru constructor is the one that is going to receive the letter, and instantiate the matching IDs and setting the children to new and everything else. So um, prefix node and let's receive this a character here. So we don't need this in this case because let's be consistent. Root right and because we don't have matching IDs equals null let's instantiate define as a null at least and children equals null okay so second thing we need to do is we need to create the insert method and basically when someone calls the insert, the insert won't return anything. We could return true or false, but let's just start like that. We are going to insert a string, right? And we are going to say that that string has this ID. And what this will do is we need to break that string up and insert character by character. So what I need to do is because we are going to let me do the same thing we've been doing. 
So let's say that we are adding this, right? First thing we iterate over this um, string, we are going to have this here. And we are going to say the position is zero. So my position, I'm not creating new strings. I'm just going to change the position that I'm reading, right? And in here, they don't care which position I'm reading because they are just saying, insert this string and this ID is ID 10. So I need to create another insert. And actually, this one can be private. Because I don't want anybody calling that one straight. And this one will receive the string. And also the position. And also the ID. What we need to do now. Is let's just some. Uh, let's do some quick validation. So let's say that if our string is equals no. Or our string dot length. is zero or less meaning that you're trying to insert nothing and last thing we're going to do is check the position so if the position we can do in one line but let's do in two so this one here is checking the string and now we are going to check the position so if the position is greater or equals our string dot length meaning that my string of test is length four and my position now is in position four meaning that is five here it won't work because position is starts on index zero length starts with one so what we are going to do is we are just going to return. We could add into the same if, but I just want to break it up so you can understand what's going on. And now what we need to do is think that we have a string, we have a position, and we have the ID. So what we need to do when we call the first insert, we are going to return the second insert sending the string position 0. And this is the ID. It means every time you get in here, oops, I don't need to return. I just need to call. So when you call this insert, it's going to call the second insert sending zero into the position. So my position will start with on, on zero. So what I need to do is if my children, I'm going to check if my children of the current node is equals null, I'm going to create a new instance of that. Children equals new hush map. Did I miss? No, didn't miss anything. Character and prefix node. Prefix node. And let's import hush map. And what we will do also is let's create length. So we do that because if we don't say how big is your hush map, it's going to create the default size. And every time you add one more, it will. Um, resize and recreate an object and doing everything so you don't want to do that you want to just that's maximum what I'm going to use so I'm going to create that size it will be faster for us not that it will count in a smaller application but it's good practice to do it okay so now let's get our first character right so let's call this C and this is our string there is a method that is default on the string class that you call character at and then you send the position so in this case position is zero right let's uh, remove this here 
here so we can see so this is position 0 1 2 3 okay and just so we can play with it while we develop so now we have C is our letter T what we are going to do is we're going to create a prefix node and children dot get C what I'm trying to do is I mean some node right and every time insert a letter I need to go through your children and try to find the letter that we are trying to insert so I'm trying to insert now T so I'm going to this children trying to find do you have a T in that children in my case the children was null and we just create an empty one so this will return null then we do if our node is null means that I didn't have that there and so I'll do node equals new prefix node and I'll add my new character right and of course you need to add a couple here and this way I just create a new node and now I'm going to insert all my children so I'll do my children dot put this character here as this node in there and this node might have many other children and okay so if node was null we took care of it so now if the position we call it pause equals the length of the string minus one so if position is equals three means that this is the last one if it is not three what I'll do is use recursion and call node insert again but um, I'll send the string and my position will be I'll add one to the position and the ID what I can do is pose equals pose plus one but this bottom one works also. Okay. So if my position is not the end of the string, right? So I mean here, for example, I'm just going to call insert again, changing the position one character. So before I was on T, right? So when I reach this point here, I add one to the position. So now my position is one. When I get this character here, I get letter E, which is trying to get the children E, can't find it, is going to add one. Okay? And inside here, we can do, it, it means we are done, right? So what we are doing is node.match, matching IDs. If our matching ID is equals new, I'm going to say, hey, my matching ID is equals um, new hush set. In this case, it's long, but we can create a um, create something using generics and done and I do node dot matching ids dot add id cool and what we are going to do here is return because we are done so quick recap validate the string validate the position and check for the children so if the children is no create a empty hush map 
which is going to store letters and nodes. Now let's get node by node. So I, I receive a string first, I receive a string test. Position 0, ID 3, for example. Then when we are on this line here, C is letter T. And we add, we try to find the letter T in our children. So my first node has no children. So it tries to find letter T. This will return new. New reach this point here, which I'm going to create a new prefix node. And I'll add letter T to that prefix node. So now I have a brand new prefix node with no matching IDs, no children, and root is T. And on my main node, I'm adding the, where are we here? We are adding to the children letter T and my node for the letter T, which has different children and the matching IDs. And now, when we keep going, we check is the position equals as the length minus 1, it meaning is the position 3. If it's 3, I'm adding the matching IDs. Repair that in our um, exercise, I added the IDs all the way until the end. Um, in this case, I'm not doing, um, I'm not doing that. I'm just adding the IDs once we reach the end of the word. Right? So, for example, test. So, when we finish the T, I'm adding the ID for that test word, the test string, right? Um, but if we want to add anyway on each of those strings, we just add in here. We can change once we are doing the, creating the unit test. So, this is the insert method. 